a protest congregation in Rumo Kulagbo, River State, witnessed a starting sequence of events when police officers abruptly arrested a youth leader, Tuamane, shortly after his emotional testimony during a church service. Tuamane had reportedly moved many with his powerful testimony, only for the atmosphere to shift dramatically with news spreading that he was being pre apprehended in connection with the mysterious death of a married mother of three at a local hotel. The disease was identified as an old acquaintance of Tuamane. Shot in rivers as youth leader gets arrested in church over death of mother of three. According to police sources, the woman and Tuamane, who had reconnected after many years, had arranged to meet in a place. Tragically, a lifeless body was discovered in their rented room later on. The prime suspect, Tuamane, attempted to mislead investigators by offering false testimony in church, stated the police source. However, our investigation has revealed unsettling the details surrounding the circumstances of her death. The relationship between Tuamane and the deceased reported dated back to their days as classmates as at River State College of Education, where they studied educational management after losing touch postgraduate in 2020-2012. They reconnected recently, leading to their father with the invasors on May 14, 2024. The arrest has sent shockwaves through the local community, prompting questions about the nature of their reunion and the tragic outcome that followed. Police investigations in the incidents are ongoing as they seek to unravel the truth behind the woman's untimely demise. Okay, so this particular person went to church to go and be giving testimony uh, different from what actually happened, and they traced him to that place. And that is why it is always good. People always say that uh, even somebody you haven't had a relationship or conversation with, and the Bible says that uh, the heart of man is desperately wicked, who can know it? I'm even talking about the person you're having conversation with every now and then. The person can be opening mouth and be opening teeth. Oh, I'm happy for you. That's all it tells you. When somebody tells you or tells me, oh, I'm happy for you. <laughs> I just try to look you know, looking from a different angle. The person might be genuine, but not too, too so comfortable with that statement because some people will say something different from what is coming out from their mouth. Not to talk of somebody that say, uh, you know, you might, the person might be a good person, maybe like two or three years or face say five years back and you are coming back what transpired what has that person gone through who and who has the person met and the kind of character the person has really you know gotten beyond what you knew before then and you just say oh i need this person and this person and, and i think that is what is a really uh what really happened in this whole thing that how they quickly reu uh, you know, reunite and all of a sudden this whole thing is happening eh? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so everybody has to be careful and see where he was being apprehended well we are going to keep our finger crossed and see what happened at the end of the day was it's a, a lesson you know food for thought <laughs> food for thought for everybody and it's not all testimonies that you just be clapping and clapping and, and be clapping and be clapping. Some people just come and form cook and boost. Just like what happened um, in a Dunamis church when that particular lady that said she graduated from a one school, I think that woman would not even be here. We don't be hearing anything from her again. And immediately on the altar, the pastor was saying that, hey, no, 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 that testimony is not it. You people come here and be giving false testimony and they will not be telling us that hey, we are encouraging all of that. Of course, the pastor himself has his own fault. But well, at the end of the day, we got to know that the woman, you know, was somebody, you know, was something else. It's so, so, so ridiculous. So everybody, you just have to be um, careful. You have to be careful when somebody tells you something and somebody is trying to be too nice. You just have to question some things. You know, if the person might not like it, that ah, don't you think? Don't you? Why are you asking me this kind of question? Why are you so? Be, why are you suspecting me? Don't you trust me? No, because of what you are hearing every day. You don't expect a you don't expect people to say that uh, everything is fine and you take everything hook line and sinker no 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 no, it doesn't work that way so everybody it gets to be careful they say hmm, last last uh, everybody go chop breakfast uh, eh? everybody go chop breakfast let us let us let us let us let us be careful this particular guy you know just like they said the relationship between 
to a manner and the disease reportedly dated back to their days as classmates at River State College of Education, where they studied educational management after losing touch postgraduate postgraduation in 2012. So now in 2024, they are now coming together. 2020 now is about uh, 12 years ago. Hmm. Like they always say, many waters have, have passed under the bridge. Many, many water. The arrest sends shock waves through the local communities, prompting questions about the nature of their reunion and the tragic outcome. The woman's lifeless body was discovered in their rented room later on. According to police source, the woman and Twana, who had reconnected after many years, had arranged to meet at a hotel in a room in Ubo. Tragically, her lifeless body is unfortunate. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this. Thank you.